when it comes to relationships uh, and the connections that form, we will call them probably soul ties or emotional connections, connections with somebody. And some people, they connect in a negative way and they draw energy from you and they they have a motive that is not pure or holy, then those things can cause problems. I think the key to any of those things, how you cut the ties, well, you do it by intention and desire and by choice. Um, but the connection between it as it's a spiritual connection, I always ask the father to disconnect that. So like disconnecting, <clears throat> you know, soul and spirit. Um, you've got Hebrews where it talks about the, the word of God is sharp, like a two edged sword. Now we're not talking about the Bible here. We're talking about Jesus as the living word of God can connect, sever the connections between soul and spirit or soul to soul so that we can be free from any negative connections that are feeding off us and drawing off us or giving us negative energy towards us. So the first thing I would always say is make sure you carry no bitterness, resent, resentfulness, anger, frustration towards that person. So forgive them and release them. So you're forgiving them for what they've done forgiving them for how that's affected you and you're releasing them from any debt or outstanding thing that they have to put it right or whatever. You're not demanding repentance. You're not demanding them say sorry. You are just cutting them free and you free from them by choosing to forgive them and release them. That is the first thing to do. So your heart is right. Then I think we can go to God and ask God, to sever any wrong spiritual connection that may be between us and that person. We choose to sever any connections we've made to them. And we ask the father to sever any connections or Jesus as the living word of God, who is sharper than any two edged sword to separate any soul ties, to cut them, to free ourselves from them. And then to maintain a attitude towards them of blessing them wanting the best for them but not receiving anything from them or allowing them to reconnect because sometimes they will try and reconnect in a negative way we then can stand free and not allow those reconnections to take place so i would always say let the father do it but from your intention to be free from them let him sever them or Jesus sever the soul tie, cut the soul tie, free you from the connection to them, which is the energy and all the stuff that comes in that negative way so that you can be free. Then maintain your freedom. If you're still in relationship with them in any way, make sure that they don't try and reconnect you or do that. If you're not in relationship with them anymore, that's fine. Just make sure that that is not a negative thing and you don't hold anything against them. That would be my key in it all. Keep our hearts right. Always operate out of love. But that doesn't mean that we have to put up with negativity coming from one person to another. And relationships change and relationships are different at different points in our lives. And therefore, you cannot have a relationship with somebody, but that doesn't mean that you hold something against them. So keep in love and identify what it is that you want the father to, to deal with or Jesus to deal with. And then you choose to cut yourself free from them, but ask him to cut them free from you. And then that soul tie is severed that connection is broken and then you can be free from that that they're bringing if you're suggesting that they may be operating in some sort of witchcraft or they may be operating in some sort of cursing then again when you're free from them you can stand firm and protected from those curses or from those negative things because they have no inner connection and you can assign angels to keep yourself safe from those things. A curse without a cause cannot alight. 
So if they've got no legal right to connect in that way, then that won't be able to affect you in the future. But make sure that, that the soul ties cut so that they have no legal connection to you because they will use it and the enemy will use it. Um, but stay in peace, stay in rest. And I believe, you know, you can be totally free from the negative effects that other people have. I mean, people say and do negative things towards me all the time. It doesn't negatively affect me at all because I do not allow any negative energy to protect me because I am protected and shielded within my relationship with being clothed with Father, Son and Spirit and light. Therefore, darkness can penetrate. But when there is a connection internally, that needs severing so no external connections can then form. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.